guys, welcome back. Tutorial time. I was really in the mood to wear a big, bold, crazy glittery eye because I haven't done it in a minute. The, the glittery looks that I've been doing lately have been a little bit toned down. Well, as toned down as glitter can be, honestly. And I received this new glitter in the mail from Litz, which it's hard to see in there. It's on my eye. Do you really need to see it in the pot? It's amazing. It's called Glittergasm. It's just so good so good raspberry and delicious and here it is all over my eye so I really wanted to use it in a tutorial for you guys um, of course I give you a billion lip options because I could not make up my mind on what lip option I wanted to use or like the best so if you guys want to learn how to get this look and all the products that I used then just keep watching so right now I'm suffering from some major indecision <laughs> Okay, so I'm basing this entire look on this glitter. It is so gorgeous. It's by Lit. It's called Glittergasm. It's in size 2. Let me show you guys what it looks like. It's this most delicious raspberry glitter. And I need this all over my eyelid. I just don't know how I'm going to do it yet. I'm going to start with this. This is Kid Eyeshadow by MAC. I'm going gonna, gonna to put that all over the crease. I'm going to use this as my transition shade. I think I want to move to like a pink transition at one point. You know, I want to definitely put pink in here. Like, I want this to be a raspberry pinky kind of look. So, we're, uh, we're going to figure that out together, guys. You know how I do. I'm going to take a Belong Type by MAC, which is barely there. This, this eyeshadow has been hanging on for dear life. And I'm going to go under the brow with that. This is Early Bird by MAC. Put a little bit of that on my... MAC 217, and I'm gonna put that in the crease. This is one of my favorite MAC shadows of all time. This is great when you're doing a smoky eye and you just want that kind of pink transition. Fluffity, fluff it out. This eyeshadow seems to match the glitter pretty well, so I think I'm gonna go with this. This is Passionate by MAC. This color stains your eyelid like crazy, so. Be careful when you choose to use a shadow. And also, be careful what friggin' brush you use with it because it might get stained permanently. I'm gonna use my Sonia Kashi brush. I'm gonna put this underneath because this color is so pigmented. If you get fallout with a shadow like this, it's really hard to get off, so. Holy pigmented. Look at how blue my eyes look now. Like, really blue. I'm <laughs> just gonna take a Coastal Sense 250, one that's already stained, and I'm going to blend that out just a little bit. Now I'm just gonna go back in with Early Bird, and I'm going to liven up that transition. Liven up the transition. That's what I'm doing. Okay, so now that the eyeshadow on the top is done, I mean, it's... A little blown out looking it's kind of crazy it's going to tie in I promise you guys I'm going to do a liquid liner on the top going with my Eve Pearl black pearl liquid liner and we're gonna do a nice dramatic wing as always one tip for liquid liner I know a lot of people are asking me how you get it so perfect um, if you feel yourself needing to blink just pull the pen away and blink don't try to force your eye open because what will happen then is you'll blink uncontrollably uncontrollably and then you will mess up your eyeliner take the tip from me that's what I've done Time for the fun part. Okay, so our eyeliner is on and now it is time for the glitter. You know it's my favorite. Okay, so I'm gonna start with my Simply, uh, what is it called? Clearly Liquid Glitter Base by Lit Best Glitter Base Ever. And this amazing glitter. Oh, okay, again, this is called Glitter Gasm by Lit Cosmetics. It's in solid size two. There are three sizes, small, medium, and large, essentially. And this is number two, which is the medium size. Oh my gosh, it's so good. All right, do you guys see it? Do you need to see it again? Oh my god. All right. We're going to take our glitter base and we are going to pop this puppy on. <laughs> First you have to pull down your lid. <laughs> okay. Look at this little hand. I'm going to take the round brush by Lit. I'm going to dip it into the glitter base. I actually have to get a new one. Well, actually I have a new one. I have to start using my new one because this one is done. So. And I'm going to pat that all over the lid. Protect and pat. Okay. 
So once that dry, once that dries, what I'm gonna do is take the brush that I was using to blend in my eyeshadows, and I'm gonna knock the extra glare off. I'm gonna grab a little bit of a deep damson by Mac, and I'm gonna brush a tiny bit of that right into the outer V, because I think I'm looking at this look. It needs a little bit of depth, so let's get a little bit of depth going on. Okay, so let's put mascara on and then we're going to clean up the fallout. Then we're going to do the lower lid. I know it's a little backwards for me, but I'm doing it today. I'm going to use my Tarte Gifted Mascara just a little bit because we are going on with some false lashes. Because let's face it, this look needs false lashes. Okay, I'm going to take a wipe and I'm going to clean my under eyes. Well, I start with a cloth, obviously just to dust away as much glitter as I can. Cleanup is easy enough. I'm just going to take my NARS um, Creamy Concealer in Vanilla and I'm going to run that under my eyes. Now I'm gonna take my Soft Blend Concealer by Sigma and I will blend that out. Cleanup with these kinds of eyeshadows is very important as well because it could easily make you look like you are sick because of the red color, because of reddish pink. I'm going to take a uh, clean MAC 217 and kind of blend this inner edge a little bit. Now I'm going to take my trusty Serenity Scott pressed powder in Fairest and under the eyes we go. I'm going to take my NARS Via Vinito pencil and I'm going to run that on the lower lash line. And we're going to smudge that little puppy. Pencil brush. Blend it out. Okay, and with that same pencil brush, I'm going to take a little bit of this. This is, what is this, a Passionate again. I'm going to take a little bit on the end of the brush and I'm going to smudge it right on top of where we just put the black. Now I'm just going to take one of those MAC 23, uh, one of that MAC 217s and I'm going to take a little bit of the peachy color, early bird, and I'm going to run that right underneath. Tie that all in together. Now for mascara, bottom lash by Clinique. You guys know it's my jam. It's my jam. To finish the eyes completely, I'm going to use these beautiful Esquito Make Lashes, and these are in Voila. Voila! I said Voila! So I'm going to pop these on. I'll be right back, and we will finish this look. Okay, so let's just go ahead and finish this up. We got the lashes on. We're all ready to do the rest of the face. Okay. So I'm going to take this Kevin Aquan Sculpting Powder in Medium with this little brush. I've been using this brush a lot. This came in, I believe, my Dallas Benefits um, blush. Yeah. I took my hair thingies out because I didn't think my hair was going to be annoying anymore, but I was wrong. Okay. Uh, I've been, you know, doing a contour with this and blending it up. This isn't the softest brush I've ever used, but it actually works really well for contour. These eyes are obviously very strong, so you do want to add a little bit of color though because you don't want your whole face to fall flat. So I'm using NARS Du Sir. NARS Du Sir. Okay. I'm going to work our way back, cheekbones, and then in. Because you need blush. Like, you need blush for this look. If you just do the eyes and you leave the cheeks, like, blank, forget it. It's going to look weird. For my highlight, I haven't used this in a while, so I grabbed it out. This is Fairly Precious Extra Dimension Skin Finish by MAC. Actually, uh, I need a smaller brush. No, I could use this one. I'm going to use my little fan brush that I always use. One of like a pinky highlight. I'm going to do three lip options for you guys because you could go at, yeah, anyway with this, really. So I'm going to start off with a nude, then I'm going to do like a corally peach to match the eyes, and then I'll do full-on crazy Sam. Full-on crazy Sam. All right. 
I'm gonna start with this. This is a NYX Nude Beige Lip Liner. Okay, and then I'm going to go in with Blankety by MAC. Simple, brownish nude. I like Blankety, I love, I, I, you know, Blankety is just one of my top favorite MAC lipsticks, so I think it looks really good. It's good if you're looking for something to just tone down these eyes, because these eyes are bananas. They are crazy and raspberry and not for everybody. I can understand that. This tutorial is not going to be for everybody. So um, this is the way Blankety looks. Okay, the light was changing, so I just changed the angle a little bit. All right, so the next color is, oh, I can't wait. Uh, this is by ColourPop. This is in the liner Frida. Oh, get in there, Frida. You're popping out of your, your liner. This matches the early bird color that I used on the outer edges. So I figured this would go well. And this is the uh, ColourPop Lippy Sticks in Frida as well. Put this all over the lip. I love this color. I think Frida looks really, really, really good with this look. Um, it ties it in really nicely, but it's still soft. In case you guys didn't know, this is Biffle's color. This is Danny's color that she designed with ColourPop. I absolutely love it. So gorgeous. Um, yeah, I really like the way Frida looks. Um, I think I might come back to Frida, actually, because... I don't know. The third color I have to try on because it's wild and we got to do it, but I think this might be my favorite. So give me a second. I'm going to go try on the other one. Okay, we're going to start with a plum lip liner by MAC. Yeah. Oh yeah. Holy moly. And then we're going to go in with a Del Rio by MAC. So that is Del Rio and Plum. It is very intense. You know, it needs a little pink, right? Like it needs a little bit more pinky. Maybe we should add some gloss. Uh, we need a little bit of purple in there. So I'm going to add Purple Haze Gloss from Serenity Scott. Let's see if this helps. Need a little bit of something in there. So this is the most dramatic color. Um, I don't like it. Like. I like it. It's vampy, you know, it's wild, but it's not my favorite. Like, I like Frida a lot more. This isn't working for me. Yeah, let's do something else. Okay, I have an idea. I'm going to go for the NYX uh, Butter Lipstick and Hunk. Not done yet. I'm not done yet, guys. All right, and now I'm going to go for Sugar Cookie by NYX as well. Okay, I like this a lot better than the last lip color. Um, I think this is a lot more suitable. Um, yeah, I think what it boils down to, you know, this matches really, really well. I like it, but uh, I think it boils down to I like Frida the best. Like, I'm going to go put Frida back on. Okay, guys, so that is the finished, finished, finished look. I had to go with my favorite lip color, of course, because I just, I don't know, like... Uh, I love the first color, the third color was kind of a fail, the fourth color I liked, but I was just, this one's the best, this is the best one. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of outlandish, wild, raspberry tutorial featuring this amazing, amazing, amazing lit glitter in Glittergasm. I'm having a total Glittergasm right now. Glittergasm's just, yeah, okay. <laughs> this tutorial if you did don't forget to give me a big thumbs up it lets me know what you guys like if you'd like to see any specific looks then don't forget to comment in the comment section below subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in the next video bye guys